Welcome back. Um, so today I am going to do a tutorial for you. I haven't done one in a while um, and I finally found one that I really liked. This is going to be kind of like a Thanksgiving-ish type, so for Thanksgiving dinner, things like that. It's a little on the smoky side, sort of, as you can see from the thumbnail, but I still think it's very wearable and it's really Thanksgiving appropriate because it has like the cranberry um, and maroonish tones in it, which I like for Thanksgiving. I don't know, that just makes me think of Thanksgiving. So it's just going to kind of be a chit chatty walkthrough. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it that way or do a voiceover, but I have decided to just chat with you as we go. So I will do my best to edit this so that it is not like umpteen hours long. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just prime our eyes, and I'm doing this because we're going to be using some darker colors, and I don't want any of the fallout on my face. So I'm just going to use an eye primer, um, greasy eyes, and so I have got to just put some primer on those. And this one is just um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original formula. I like it. It's nice. I don't think that there's like anything super duper amazing about it, but it does the job. So, okay, so we're going to start with the transition colors and I am using um, this really pretty kind of a fleshy tone. I don't know. I love this color. It's called Silky Caramel by Mary Kay. I'm not sure if this one is discontinued or not and I hate to put it in a video if it's been discontinued but I love 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 this color it's just it's so pretty it's like a light tan and it's great and that's what I'm gonna use as the first uh, shade in my crease just my first transition shade and I'm just fluffing that all in the crease kind of willing to like not really caring where it goes because it's such a beautiful color and yeah my brushes are not the cleanest so okay. just throwing that in there and then I'm actually gonna take a real techniques this is a 201. It's a just a really pointed crease brush, but I'm just going to take it and really blend that out because I think that brush was a little, a little dirtier than I thought. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So we've gotten a good bit of that silky caramel in there and it's just really going to be a nice transition shade because we're going to be using the cranberry tones and things like that. So the next color I'm actually going to take is another shade by Mary Kay called Almond. And this is just a really nice soft medium brown. And I'm going to work that into the crease as well. Just really layering those colors for a really smooth, easy transition. Really concentrating it into the crease. And then once I've got the bulk of the color on, just kind of going through and blending it all the way out. I'm not sure why this is coming out quite so red, because these are not very red-toned colors. It will be red-toned, but not right now. And I took, you know, washed my hair this morning, so it's up and it takes forever <laughs> to dry, so you guys are getting the updo, which, hey, might be what you go for on Thanksgiving if you have as many people at Thanksgiving like uh, my family, immediate family, there are, um, I'm the oldest of 10 kids, and then my cousin, who's like my brother, so that's 11, and I have two nephews and my mom and dad, so <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, like 15 people at any given moment, like that's the norm for our home, um, for Thanksgiving, so. Okay. So the next color, another Mary Kay color, and it's called Sienna. I know this one's discontinued, but this is really beautiful, kind of red tone brown. You can't really see it in the camera, but it's a beautiful red tone brown, and I'm just taking that same brush. We're working with that same brush because I am very all about, you know, just trying to 
be minimal in washing these things. And that is way more red tone than the others. So I'm not putting it as high up in the crease, but still working it in there. I want that to be concentrated more on the lower crease. Okay. Next we're going to go in with Cranberry by MAC and this is a beautiful, beautiful red shade. I just, I love this color. I think it is so pretty. Um, and that first brush I was using was a Zoeva Luxe crease brush. I love the Zoeva brushes. Um, they're really nasty to have to ship, but they're great brushes. Um, Next we're going to take a classic shader brush by Zoeva, and my brushes are dirty because I was trying this video out earlier, and um, I just love this color. I think it's so pretty. I bought it just because it was pretty. We're going to load up that brush, and then just kind of sweep that all over the base of the lid, just kind of setting the tone for the really pretty cranberry-ish colors. I love this. So pretty. Alright, so I'm going to take that, the original brush we had, and really just dust it off, and then blend these together really nicely. And this is all about the eyes. Like the rest of the face is going to be pretty simple, nothing too intricate, but I just really like this for the eyes. I don't know, I think it's beautiful. And we're going to take the um, ColourPop Central Perk. So this is a matte maroon, very deep deep matte maroon color. I love this. Loading up that brush and we're going to concentrate it on the outer portion of the eye. Just that outer V really. Nothing too heavy or too intense. Sweep it up into the crease a little bit. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. Okay, so now that it's in there, you can go back with that <laughs> fluffy brush and just blend that together again. The entire look was inspired by these, and these are the new Mary Kay sheer dimension powders so these are cheek powders you've got this one that is called pearls and it's just this beautiful oh look at that beautiful pink and then the other one they have these are limited edition for their winter line only um this one is called lace which is a coral color and they're just so pretty. I love them and I thought that they would be beautiful on the eyes. So what I'm going to do is take a um, Real Techniques smudger brush and take this, uh, what is this again, lace color and load that up and then pack this onto the center of my eye to just add some luminescence. I really loved this. I thought they were just so pretty. And then I thought that the cranberry tones and everything for Thanksgiving would just be great. We're also going to use this on our cheeks, which you'll see. All right. And then we're going to take the pearl color. And we're going to take that Real Techniques uh, 201 brush. I don't know what it's called other than that. And we're going to load it up and go to the inner corner. 
and keep everything nice and bright and soft. So it's almost very gradient. So you go from this really light iridescent pink all the way out to this darker, you know, uh, maroonish color, the matte maroon color. I just, I think it's so pretty. And we're gonna go ahead back with that Central Park color and load it up on a smudger brush, a Real Technique smudger brush, and just put a little bit more in that corner. And then we're gonna put it on the bottom lash line. There's my phone. We're gonna go ahead and do our brows. And I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. I'm just gonna fill my brows in and really no need for you to see this part. So let's skip ahead. Okay, brows are on. So the next thing we're going to do is our base. I'm gonna skip the lashes because I'm gonna put some uh, mascara on the bottom. We're gonna go with our base. And the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face and this is the Mary Kay Primer. Love this stuff. Just take a really nice, generous amount and press that all into my skin. Now this is one of those slippy silicone-y, silicone, slippy silicone kind. So if you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend it, but I don't have too much of a problem with this one. I like it. It also has SPF 15 in it, which is nice just to get a little SPF in ya. Okay, so we're going to go with this beautiful baby I just got recently, which is the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Foundation, and my shade is 34, 33, 34, I got this one's 34. We're just going to dab it on the giant drop on my hand, put that on my chin, just going to dab that on the face, kind of war paint. I'm going to take my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush and buff that in. Now this is a very, very full coverage foundation. <laughs> oh, I hate getting foundation on my lips. I just think it's so gross. I'm looking a little like a pale cousin it or something. I don't know why this is coming off so pale on the screen. It's not okay. The rest of me is a lot paler than my face, so that's probably why. My face gets a lot of sun and the rest of me does not. But as you see, it blends out a lot better. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm just, I'm like all different colors, so I really have to match my face and my neck and so that matches. I know it looks really creepy right now. It's okay. So we're going to add a little color and a little life. We're going to take this. I got in a glossy box. It's the Amite Makeup Artist Color Powder Blush in 108. I love this. I have been using this nonstop. This is a very warm blush and it's just so pretty. So pretty. I'm just really concentrating that on the hollows of my cheeks. We're gonna take this really pretty lace color, same brush, load it up, and just put that all over the apples of our cheeks. These are kind of in the same color family. Like this is more, this one's a lot darker, but can you see how they're kind of, so they go well together. 
now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and put on mascara. And I have the, this was given to me by a friend, Lancome, or La, yeah, the Lancome Black Noir High Definition Mascara. I've been using it. I like it. It's not bad. So I'm just going to coat my lashes. It's a nice lengthening one. It just lengthens and separates. This is nothing if you want volume at all. I don't feel. I think it's just a really nice lengthening mascara. Adds a lot of definition. Hence the high definition part of the name. Now for the bottom lashes. You could line your lashes with black liner if you wanted. I'm just not going to do that today, but I probably would in any other circumstance, like the waterline and to tight line the top. I think it would look really pretty. So now we're going to move on to lips, and the lips are a little darker for this. Um, and we're going to use this Marc Jacobs lipstick from my Sephora haul um, in Blow. And this is a very dark vampy reddish color but it's so so pretty be very careful because it can bleed out though and that's it that is the finished look I think it's a really nice look for Thanksgiving just because it focuses on all the warm cranberry tones you could add a little sparkle to it with some glitter and use the ColourPop Stereo, which is kind of like Central Park, but it's a very glittery shadow. Actually, let's do that. Let's just... See? Little glitter. Um, this is a lot darker than it looks. It's kind of black-based, so it will definitely darken it up some but I think it's a really pretty Thanksgiving look and I don't know I just I liked it I got compliments on it when I wore it and I thought that you guys would like to see it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this if you did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe the link is right down there um, just that red button that says subscribe that way you will get notifications every time I upload a new video and it'll let me know somebody's watching so I will see you guys next time happy Thanksgiving and mwah! bye